really fun. We went on a Tuesday night. It was our second time bowling. And Hep didn't want to participate, but he gave the girls a lot of pointers and a lot of people improved their game because of it. Whoa. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Very competitive when I play sports. I don't care if it's freaking bowling. I have the coordination to do anything I want to do. Hef <laughs> said he didn't want to bowl because supposedly it hurt his back, but I think he just didn't want to risk getting beat by a girl. I just don't think bowling is a sport. I think it's more of like a match. I'm not a bowler. I'm an athlete. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Come on to my house and my house. I'm gonna give you candy. Come on to my house and my house. I'm gonna give you figs and dates and the grips and the cakes. Today we're going to Lodi because I'm really excited to show Holly and Kendra my hometown. My family's really important to me, so I want them to see where I grew up and meet my family. And I had to get up at four in the morning and start getting ready. I hate getting up early, so I never even went to bed. Kendra. Hey. Hey, good morning, Kendra. Yeah, I'm waking you up, biatch. <laughs> because Hef doesn't really want to miss us. We were on a mission to get it done in one day. You're the first one. <laughs> I, I didn't go sleep. I'm like, I might as well just get up and put makeup on. When I went to bed last night, I told Hef, OK, time for my nap. Before going to Lodi, I was kind of thinking to myself, oh, how boring, you know? <laughs> how do we pop the trunk? Oh, thank you. Good morning. Are you ready? I'm ready, are you? Yeah, did Kendra hear? Yeah, she's okay. the first one for a change. <laughs> I'm a freak, and I'm out. I cleaned this whole seat. She's already out here? Yeah. Burr! It's freezing. <sighs> Burr. It's cold. Five o'clock, we jumped in the limo, and we headed for Lodi. <laughs> I was really nervous about how Holly and Kendra might feel. I was just hoping that they'd have a good time. What's up on your head? It's lighter, isn't it? Yes, it is. Ooh, it totally is. What is that? It's a spider. That is so gross. Ew, I was totally freaked out. And I was like, ew, gross. Ew. Get in the champagne glass. I don't want to smush him. But I don't want him to land on my head either. I'm glad it didn't crawl on me. Oh my god! Ah! Ah! She's not out. going anywhere. Just throw the whole glass out. Yeah. <laughs> she out? Yeah. Where was that? She's right like above right above head. my head. It was weird. Oh my god! I got a spider web all over me. I guess like. Ah! Ah! We stopped at this little gift shop on the way to Lodi. I'm gonna get this ah! giraffe for him. Aww. Is it a cat? Yeah, it's totally a cat. I thought it was like a llama. No, it's like a foo-foo 50s cat. Stacey. No, she's Lucy Lamb. Whoa. Lucy Lamb. That's not a lamb. And you've got Gypsy. The giraffe. What's take Quero me? I want. <laughs> oh, I love you. No. That's, OK, it says I love you. Oh, it's cute. Hey, Kendra, huh. did you see this? Holy. Oh, I love these little things. I need to get the homies because my valet at oh, no, my okay. bank, oh, they collect ahead. homies. Okay. okay, 50 cents, 50 cents. Thank you. Oh, I got a guy with a big stick. Oh, no, he's a pool cue. You don't have any blonde homies. Well, that's because they're ethnic. No! <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> you can be the first blonde homie. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, what the hell? There's a blonde one. I've always wanted to go grape stomping, and it's something that I'd seen done in Lodi a lot of times because they're the wine grape capital or something like that. 
Bridget had a whole itinerary planned out for Lodi, which was great for me because that's what I usually do. So it was nice to kind of just go with the flow and let somebody else take charge for a while. The arch is going to be on the left up here. Oh, that's the arch. It's really pretty. This is the new arch. The arch is just the most infamous spot in Lodi. Like, everyone knows where the arch is. You mind snapping a picture of us? Lodi. Hi. That's pretty good. Whee! Lodi is really conservative, yet I also have a lot of supporters there. So I'm really excited to go home and share the fact that I'm on the cover of Playboy with them. Okay. In this little mall area was my first job with Shane Video, where Rick's Pizza is. Okay, this is my high school. This is Lodi High. What was your mascot? Lodi Flames. <laughs> That's weird. I know. Flamers. Exactly. Oh my what people God. Would say. <laughs> yeah. And the mascot was a clown. No way. What? Yeah. It wasn't like a fireball? No. It was like, you know what? You're not picturing. I think just going by my high school makes me smug that I've made something of myself and I've come so far from that. This is our church. Not that I go anymore, but this is where I got confirmed, went to Sunday school and all that cool. good stuff. It did feel like validation to me to be back in Lodi. So many people have known how bad I wanted to do Playboy and be a part of this. I'm excited to be able to go back and say, see, I could do it. I did it. Oh yeah, look at Playboy cocktails. <laughs> There's TikTok oh my god. <laughs> Our first stop on our trip to Lodi is the Michael David Winery. We're going there to go grape stomping. Here it is. We pulled up, and I, first I saw my mom and sister, so I rolled down the window and I was yelling at them. Woo! Who are those two hot babes? It's always great to see Anastasia and my mom. Anna! My family all showed up at Michael David Winery, and we had lunch together. I think maybe half the population of Lodi is related to Bridget. Come, how are you? Nice to see you. This is so cool. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Yeah, so thank you. I don't go a long time ever without speaking to half. You know, we've been together for four years, and we've never spent a night apart. So it's just second nature. But I don't live in. Hello, baby. Baby Puffin. Hi, honey. How are you? How are you, sweetheart? We just got here. Oh, you did? Yeah, and we're settling down to lunch, and all of Bridget's friends and family are here. There's a big group of us. Oh. And then we're going to stomp grapes. What are you doing today? Well, I'm busy working. Oh, good. Well, we all say we love you, and I'll call you later today. I love you, Puffin. I love you. I love the girls. And uh, talk to you later and see you later. Bye. Cheers. Cheers. I also really wanted to go to the pumpkin patch, which was my favorite from when I was a kid. Only I've never gotten to do it with a glass of wine before. <laughs> Heading that on the way back. Oh, look at that one. Oh, I feel like you could be a pumpkin man. Hey, take a picture of my head in that. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is so cool. Oh, pig! Oh, piggy! Oh, oh, my God, I love pigs! $50? I want a pig! 50 bucks, a pig. I'm like, I want one so bad. I really love pigs, and they just touch my heart. <laughs> I love them, I don't know why. I just love them. They were like smiling at me. Oh, you're friendly. You're the friendly one. The one with the little black nose is friendly. Oh, the pigs were so cute. We totally wanted to take one home. If I left her, I'd play with the pigs every day. I love those pigs. Come a little anytime, Okay. <laughs> now we're to the crusher. Then we went grape stomping. It was a duel between Holly and I and Anastasia and Kendra. Oh, you're putting your hair back. Oh, yes. this is serious. I'm ready to dominate. Shoot. We're going to win. We are going to win. Should I take off my watch? Uh, I don't no, think it's just your feet. I don't want to use every part of my body. It's on, girl. Oh, it's, it's on. on. Bet on us and make some money. Bring it. Yeah, bring it. It's already been brought in. <laughs> brought in. <laughs> I'm scared. What if this thing stabs us? So many. How long do we go for? Oh, I'm ready. No! Oh. No, you guys, it's too Wait. Far. It's too far. That's earthquake. Time. We're in this one. We're in a barrel together. Oh! We're in a barrel together. So what's that one for? Okay. I get it. Two at a time. Step in. Okay. Ew. 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 Oh my god, it's gross. It was really gross when you first step in there because it's so mushy. Okay. Okay, you guys ready? Okay, we're gonna yeah. do two minutes. Ready? Okay, two minutes. Ready? Set. Set. Go! Oh my god! It's like a treadmill. So 
mushy and wet and sticky and gross, but it didn't matter because we were competing. <laughs> There was some serious competition going on. Stop! Stop! Okay, everybody out. Let's see who won. Looks like you guys won. It's a big team. It's a big team. Kendra and Anastasia won in the grape stomping competition, but only by like that much. Anastasia and I kicked some ass. Hey, your prize is you have to drink that. You have to drink it. Yeah, you have to I'll take a sip. All right, it's good stuff. Lots of sugar. It smells like feet. When I said it smelled like feet, it really did. <laughs> Grace got the best job. Look, they have white shirts on. Winery was really neat. It got the day off to a really fun start. Thanks for coming to Lodi. Yeah. Have fun in Lodi. Woo! I wonder what Hef's doing right now. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. oh yeah. This should be fun. Yeah! <laughs> Ooh. Oh, yeah! Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Hit it again. Now we're going to Grandma's house. We'll see if that doll is there, the creepy doll. Yeah. I told you that. <laughs> Grandma's house! Hi! One of the things I definitely wanted to do was go by my grandma's house. I really wanted to show Holly and Kendra that house and have them meet my grandma. Hi, this is Holly. Hi. Nice to meet you. And hi, I'm Kendra. Kendra. It's so nice to meet you. Grandma, you got shorter. Aw. Aw. I heard grandma was adorable, and the house was like a grandma house. Yeah. Yeah, do you mind if I show him around? Because I was telling him all about your house and how I have so many memories and stuff. Yeah, you were here a lot of times. <laughs> <laughs> Too much? No. <laughs> Remember that um, creepy doll that you kept for me with the red hair? Yeah. Is that still upstairs? Yeah. <gasps> okay, I want to show him. Um, okay. Me and my cousins used to be really scared of this doll, and I remember it being gigantic, like as big as we were. I remember. Oh! And there's lots of dolls now. <laughs> when I went and saw her, I almost didn't even know it was the same doll. This is the creepy one. You probably remember her being life-size. Yeah, oh, she was huge before. This is the creepy one, and we swear her eyes moved on their own. <laughs> we swore it. She's the evil, creepy doll. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, back where you go. Oh, her arm just fell off. <laughs> That's the broken arm. <laughs> Tell them about the Christmas parties when there were about 50 of us in here. Christmas at my grandma's house is really special. We open presents and hang out together, and it's just really fun. Our family's so big, and like 40 people cram into this little room right here, and we have the tree over there, and everybody opens presents. And cool. It really meant a lot to me to be able to go to my grandma's house. To me, that embodies being home and what Lodi is. It was just so cute. Her grandma was adorable, and her family was all there. It was like a family reunion. Cool. <laughs> At the end of the day, we went to Stogie's, the cigar bar. My dad, Jeff, really wanted us to stop by and say hello to all his friends. My dad owns his own construction company. He was so supportive of my lifestyle, and that means a lot to me. Oh, look at your picture. Oh, my God. Ah, that's hilarious. Bridget's following followed us everywhere. I think Bridget's a little bit of a hometown celebrity. I was starting to get a little overwhelmed. I got a little teary-eyed, like I'm going to get now, because... <laughs> It's just so cool to have that kind of support. I feel so privileged. My sister, she's just such a star, and I'm so glad to be your sister. Everybody wanted pictures, and everybody wanted autographs. Thank you. <laughs> it's really cool to go back home and have people asking for your autograph, but it is weird when somebody you don't know comes up to you and wants pictures with you, wants your autograph. You kind of feel like, from me? But I'm not a celebrity. I'm just a girl from Lodi. The cigar place was 
awesome. It was my type of environment. They taught us how to smoke a cigar. One draw. She needs to knock up to inhale. Don't inhale. This is what you just dig it, just pump it in, and roll it around like a wine. It's nice. <laughs> and they had a special one for Kendra. The bigger, the better. <laughs> Made me feel like a pimp. Get out of my way, punk. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, we should get going. This has been a great trip. Yeah. And a little old Lodi gets a day like today where we can have you know, three beautiful women, especially you know, famous as they are, come up here and spend a day with all of our customers and here at our little old shop. <laughs> Bye, Bye, Dad. Bye, Dad. Bye, Mom. Bye. You guys have a good trip. I think the trip to Lodi was really important for Bridget because she loves her family, so I know being able to see all of them really meant a lot to her. You know, there's some scandalous girls that come up to the mansion and want to do anything to get Hef's attention. You probably want to cozy up, don't you? I've heard stories in the past with Hef's ex-girlfriends that, you know, one day they were gone and the next day, you know, somebody else takes their place. So I'm just curious. Baby Puffin! How are you, sweetheart? How are you? Did your grape stump? Did you get your feet all blue? Yeah, but we washed it off afterwards. How long did it actually take you to, to uh, get there? I figured it sounded like about, didn't sound like five hours, it sounded like six, six or more. I need a puffin hug. You'll get a muffin hug. I love you, baby. I love you. All right, darling. Bye-bye. I called Hef several times throughout the day. He knew we'd be back a little bit late, but he was okay with it. Gotta know what time it is. Grizzly bear time. I can't believe we missed Grizzly Man. Every weekend we have movie nights, and I've never missed one since I've been here. Shall we? If you're ready, I am. It's a good thing the girls aren't here. I think if a girl who wanted to get together with Hef saw that I was gone, they would take that opportunity to get up on him because it's not often that I'm gone. <laughs> yeah, who sat next to Hef on the couch? I don't know. That's what I'd like to know. Like, I know who's probably oh, sitting on the couch. Oh, Stacy. Stacy sits on the couch with us during the movies, and she used to be a girlfriend. Holly was a little bit worried when we were gone. Was Stacy going to scoot down and sit too close to Hef? <laughs> I'm sure she scooted closer. It's just how, how close. close. I wonder. <laughs> but I'd be interested to know if she's like this on him. Well, I, I, I if I was Hef, I'd be like, all right. It'd be kind of funny if Stacy did sit next to Hef. <laughs> I want to see some shit go down. <laughs> <laughs> we got a lot of room on us. They're not here. Maybe we can just. I should have brought down some some dolls. Was well, there any randoms there tonight too, like staying? Any random chicks? Yes. <laughs> Holly be asking around. I'm gonna call him and ask him. Hey, it's Holly. Hello. Uh, what? I was hung up on. Hey, it's Holly. Can I have? Hello? I always wish I had Oh, I got hung up on again. I will do this for you. They listen to me. <laughs> Yo, it's Kendra. Ah! Oh, I think I got me again. What? Look at it. Here we go. Oh, my God. It's Kendra. Hey. Hey. Motherfucker. I'm going to try a different approach. Hey, Mark. It's Bridget. <gasps> we keep calling the... Hello. At first, I thought the butlers were dissing us, but then we heard it was because our cell phones weren't working and they couldn't hear us, which is good because if Hef found out the butlers were hanging up on us, he wouldn't be happy. I'm not worried to leave Hef alone. I know he's not going to, like, dump me because one day some chick comes up to him. And away we go. How many more hours do we get to the mansion? Well, if they drive fast, it should be about five, I think. I decided not to worry too much about another girl sitting next to Hef on the couch because I'd be back for revenge. Your, your shoulder doesn't make a good pillow. It's a little bony.
can just get all my shit tomorrow, please? I'm going to bed. I was the first one to find Hef when we got back, but we did all see him and tell him what a great time we had and how happy we were to be home. I got a puppet man. Hi, honey. We got matching outfits. <laughs> I got a giraffe. We didn't have to be home for curfew. Hef knew where we were, and we were in constant contact with them, so everything was cool. We missed you today. Well, I certainly missed you guys. Where's Winnie? Oh, look who missed Mommy. Hi, baby girl. She's like, come on. She won't even wait for me. Yes. You guys did not understand. I kept explaining to him. Mm -hmm. uh, good night, sweetie. To me, Lodi was the coolest thing ever. It was just really, really neat to be able to show it off. And I hope that Holly and Kendra had just as good as time as I did. Good girl. Did you miss Mama? I guess we'll see you guys tomorrow. And the grips and the kicks. Hey.